In this video, I'm going to talk about the history of Scratch, the programming language, and just kind of an idea of all about it, like what it is and where it came from. It's like people play Scratch, they see video games, and they want to be able to create them themselves. I'm new to Scratch, but both my students and I are already loving it. I've never seen students take something so quickly. And that's the thing about Scratch. You're going to go really fast when you go through it. Other important things, here's who pays for Scratch. So here's who they get their money from. Because it's through MIT, um, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And the Scratch project has received financial support from the biggest, from some really big companies. We have the NSF, Google, Lego, Intel, Cartoon Network, and some big foundations. Other things, Scratch in school. So Scratch, students are learning Scratch all over the place. And actually, let's start here, around the world. Scratch is used in more than 150 different countries and is available in 40 languages. So it's used all over the world, and you can, you can easily translate things. So if someone worked on it in a country in Europe, for example, in a different language, you can translate it to the English language. And students are learning Scratch not just in computer classes. They're using it in social studies, math. They're using it in all different kinds of subjects because Scratch programming itself you can use in so many different subjects. There's a great TED Talk if you have time to watch it. And then here's the age group. So if you're wondering who uses Scratch, it's mainly people 8 to 16, so around your age group. Um, but it is used by everybody, and it's, it's a great beginning language to understand programming. 